In this video I will show to you how you can fetch secrets from an Azure Key Vault in your Microsoft Fabric notebooks. Welcome to the video, my name is Alexi and on this channel I cover all things Azure. And today I will show to you how you can fetch Key Vault secrets in your Microsoft Fabric notebooks. And now without further ado, let's fire up the fabric and let's check out how this is done. Now I have the fabric open here. And here I have a notebook where I would like to fetch some secrets from an Azure Key Vault. And this can be achieved by using MS Spark Utils and more specifically the credentials functionality in that toolbox. And there we have a function called get secret that we can use to get some secrets from the Key Vault. And how does this get secret function work? First, we have to give it our Key Vault URL. And this can be found in our Key Vault front page here where it says vault URI. You can just copy this value here and paste it as the first argument for that function. Next, we have to define the secret name that we are going to fetch from that key vault. And after this, you have already configured everything on the fabric side that is needed to fetch the secret from the key vault. And in this notebook, I'm passing that secret value that comes out from the key vault to this secret value variable, and then I'm printing it. Let's try to run this code and see what happens. Oh, it didn't work. And now we can check out why. It drew an 403 error, which is code for forbidden. Caller is not authorized to perform action on resource. And this means that we have insufficient accesses to access that key vault. But we can change that quickly. Let's go to our key vault and we have to go to access control. Here we can actually first check out what are our accesses to this key vault. And here I can see that I'm the owner of the key vault and also storage blob data contributor. However, these accesses do not give us access to read the secrets from this key vault. So we have to create a new role assignment for us to read the secrets from this key vault. And this can be done by clicking this add button and add role assignment. And here we can find key vault role assignments. The minimum role that is required for reading secrets is the key vault secrets user. And we can assign that to ourselves. So we select that value and then we go to the next page and then we have to select members. And basically we want to add this role to ourselves. So we have to find ourselves here. And there it is. We are going to select ourselves. And now we have defined everything here correctly. And now next we can just click review and assign. And now we have assigned that role assignment for us so we can access the secrets. And now we can quickly test that our role assignment was successful. So if we navigate to the secret section of this key vault, we should be able to see the secrets. And here we can see our test secret that I have here, fabric notebook test secret. And here we have a quick reminder that if you have enjoyed this video so far, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Azure and Fabric content. It doesn't cost you anything and I would highly appreciate that. But now let's continue and let's go back to Fabric and now we would be able to fetch that secret from that key vault. So let's try that out. And now we were able to fetch that secret from that key vault, which means that we have sufficient access to that key vault and we configured everything correctly on the Fabric side. Also, we can see that we can't print that secret value directly to text here and Fabric tries to hide it so that these secret values won't end up to the log so easily. Also, did you know that this secrets functionality is just one of the functionalities available in MS Spark Utils? If you're interested in checking out what are the other functionalities in MS Spark Utils and what kind of things you can do with it, check out this video next where I cover that. But now, I thank you for watching and see you in that video.